Hi, my name is Mateo, host of Psychosophia, a podcast where we will discuss philosophical ideas and the minds who entertain them, focusing on personal and social, emotional well-being. But how can that be, if philosophy is dead and science has killed it? Or at least, that's what Stephen Hawking, one of the most popular and recent figures in cosmology, told us. Isn't it already to philosophize to consider whether philosophy is still valid or not? What's more, what can we gain from exploring the cosmos if we're not able to cross the abyss that separates us from ourselves? Unfortunately, we're about to find out. It seems that every year, in every new academic calendar, the humanities lose importance in high school curriculums, and universities adapt their budgets to current student body demands allocating fewer funds each year to philosophy departments. And these, in turn, respond by indoctrinating future activists rather than fostering curiosity, because philosophy no longer seems to be worth that much, not even to philosophers. I get it, in a sense, this current utilitarian drift. On a generous day, when I studied it a decade ago, there were 15 of us in class. Because no... Philosophy probably won't fill your stomach. I've discovered this firsthand. But it feeds everything around you. It won't fill your wallet either, but it enriches even your worst experiences. And in this world, where everything but how to live has been discovered, sharing the comforts of philosophy before they fall into oblivion seems to me to be a healthy task. This is Psychosophia's mission. To offer the little wisdoms of these enlightened savage, reclusive, and all-too-human beings to guide us through the trenches of day-to-day -day with a slight chance of not losing our heads. For now, welcome to the show.